Today's model is a previous builder decked up model available for sale right here in Mount Dora. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys today's model is a previous builder model available for sale. It's all decked up in Mount Dora. You're literally five minutes walking to the downtown Mount Dora. The first thing you're going to notice is that you have these beautiful pavers all included in the price. You have this nice stone elevation with nice beautiful coach lights and the driveway is long enough for you to be able to have easily two cars and I like that you have the pavers all the way in your front porch area which is right over here on a beautiful day like this today you can have one of those rocking chairs sit around enjoy the breeze and and enjoy the sun and just read a book or have a cup of coffee i also love the elevation that you see this with this nice wood post right there they're more decorative and it just looks it's a different elevation than what i have seen with most of the other builders so let's go inside i also love that you have this nice walkway because you get a lot of packages and this is in a community where there's no HOA, there's no CDD. So if you want to kind of screen this area and have a gate, you can easily do that. You don't really need any permission. So let's go inside and check this beautiful house out. Hello, hello and welcome to this beautiful uh, builder model. Now this used to be a decorated builder model, now it is available for sale and the price of this house is $499,999. I don't know why $500,000, that would have sounded better but and easier to remember. Anyhow, this is a four bedrooms, two bathroom, two car garage, 2154 square foot in a community with no CDD, no HOA, five minutes to Mount Dora. Now, if you want to know more about Mount Dora, make sure to watch my video on Mount Dora on Orlando Living with D. That's where I talk about school, hospital, shopping, dining. We go all around Central Florida, Orlando, Greater Orlando, Tampa, Tampa Bay, and now Ocala, and we do those videos. And if you are in the market looking for a brand new home, this is a great resource. Please press that thumbs up button, show me some love and subscribe to my channel. I spend a lot of time and energy and effort bringing you a lot of information now the base price of this model is about 424 at the time of the shoot and at the time of the shoot this house is available there is a possibility that at the time its video is released it may or may not be available so if you are interested I'm doing the floor plan because with every builder they're going to have like five six seven ten twelve floor plans but then they only have two or three that are decorated and I'm trying to get to every single floor plan that is available with most of the builders in my market which is central florida orlando greater orlando tampa tampa bay and ocala because it's one thing to look at the floor map or the floor plan on paper and it's completely different to kind of be able to walk through it because for me walking through the whole house to see how that 2154 square foot is laid out is more important than just seeing it on a piece of paper. Now, this is on a huge lot and you don't really find these, this kind of size on the lot. This is on a 62 by 129 lot. So it's lot is big enough for you to be able to have a nice uh, pool if you want and still have a little bit of land. I also did a two-story builder decorated model that was available. If you are in the market to just buy a decorated builder uh, model then please let me know because I carry a list of, of uh, buyers separately that are just interested in builder model so the first thing you're going to notice is this upgraded uh, front door entrance it's an eight foot door and the price that I gave you everything is included it doesn't have the blind but washer dryer refrigerator everything is included for the base price you know you are going to pay extra when it comes to getting the blind washer dryer and whatnot so just please keep that in mind you have this nice ceiling you have the nice foyer with the crown molding and then you also have now the ceiling height from here all the way to there is like 11 however from here to for the most part is just about nine four or so so you have this upgraded wood looking tiles and the very first bedroom is over here now i tend to go 
stay in the corner to kind of give you a good idea of the depth of the bedroom. So you kind of make sure that does it going to work for me. Now, if you want to know the exact size of the rooms, please make sure to put that in the comment below. I'll be happy to send you the exact floor plan that will give you the dimension so you can see, hey, is it going to fit my current furniture or not? And also this specific model can be built with this builder in different communities. And that is why I'm actually going all around wherever I can find a builder floor plan, whether it's decorated or not decorated, that I can actually do the videos. If you're gonna build a home from scratch, please make sure to watch my video because you would know and people who watch my videos know what's next. Extra lights, right? And then you have this nice eight foot solid door leading to your closet space. So it's kind of nice. It's, it's actually extended because it goes behind this pillar and then also on that side. So it's a little bit bigger. And then as I come out, this is where you have the very first secondary uh, bathroom and look at this beautiful tiles of course you would have to pay extra for it it's not going to be included in the base price but you have the upgraded tile shower tub combination and you know what sometimes simple you know the subway white tiles also look good depending upon how it is laid out so if you can have it laid out in a certain design it also looks good but I definitely recommend that you have this going all the way up to the ceiling you have the undermount sink with the cords. Now, granite and cords is standard with the builder. You get granite, a choice of two to three different granite in your uh, kitchen, and then two to three different cords in your bathroom that is included in the base price of 424. So please keep that in mind. You have this nice white cabinets, and then right next door is the other bedroom, which is a little bit bigger. I like that you have this nice window. Now with builders, sometimes they'll give you a package when it comes to the light, especially when you build from scratch, and they will give you that option of two lights, like two extra lights. You can actually have them like this, or you can have them like this. And I always suggest that because it's nice, beautiful and sunny today, but this is Florida. It could be raining and, and pouring like no other day tomorrow, really nice and like really dark and depending upon the orientation of the sun. So it's kind of nice to have those extra lights and I'm sure you can thank me later, especially if you're going to build from scratch. Please, please, please do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Watch my videos. I talk about kind of inspections you need to do, things that you need to do that can help you as a consumer to make the right decision. You also have the closet space right over here. So it's really nice. It's a really nice 2154 square foot, well laid out house. And I always talk about that, that it's not about the square footage as much as it's about how the house flows. And I really kind of like that you have the fall ceiling with the double crown molding here and same thing, but then you also have that extra light, which is kind of really, really nice. And right over here is your laundry. You have the washer and dryer. And then this is obviously an upgrade now, please keep in mind, washer and dryer is not included. If you are in the market right now, guys, look for an inventory home. You're going to get a lot more bang for your buck. You know, the builders are putting in a lot of like, especially on an inventory home. Think of it this way. If you have a home that's sitting on the market, it's going to now cost you in utilities. It's going to cost you on insurance. It's going to cost you on, on, on everything because you are paying for it in one way, shape or form. So it's better that the builder kind of get that sold. So they'll be willing to work with you on inventory home than to work with you on a dirt, which they already own and nothing is there. So they're not that flexible. I'm telling you from experience, we have sold hundreds of brand new homes all over Central Florida, Tampa, Tampa Bay and Ocala. And I'm just telling you as boots on the ground, that's where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. And I know that there is a lot of people that are sitting on the market and just waiting, hey, let me see what's gonna happen. You know, it's okay if that's what you wanna do, but I'm telling you the question that you need to really ask yourself is, hey, can I afford the payments with the current rates, with the current thing, with this specific house? If you can close in the next 60 days and, and you can actually have them, they're giving you $25,000 towards closing cost and prepaid, all appliances, plus 4.99 interest rate that they will buy down for 30 years. So just giving you some thoughts and every builder is different in terms of incentives. So if you want to know more, put that in the comment below. We'll be happy to help. And right behind me is the very, is the third secondary bedroom. And again, this is what I was talking about. You see how dark this room is a little bit because of the orientation of the sun. If you have had those extra lights, this would have really brightened 
this bedroom and this is something I kind of constantly say in most of my videos because trust me I've sold a lot of homes I've been in a lot of uh, flow different floor plans and and different models and I can tell you lightning has a huge huge effect and then you also have the closet space right over here now this is a ranch style home on a really nice big lot the the lot is 62 by 129 usually your standard lots are going to be like 40 50 or 60 you know so it's kind of nice when you kind of go a little bit in the outskirts you're going to find a little bit more bang for your buck the same exact house in windermere winter garden it's probably going to be a lot more than what you are paying over here so just some food for thoughts right over here is your two car garage this is a block construction right over here and then you also have the garage door opener your attic entrance and then you also have your water heater protected by that pole now please keep in mind you may not see this in every single uh, home with different builders it's actually a municipality code and the municipality is the one that dictates if you have to have that pole and which is just there to protect uh, you know your water heater so you don't kind of run into it and then as I come out this is kind of a split floor plan where you have all your secondary bedroom up front and then you have the master bedroom at the very back and look at this this thing hole opens up now the ceiling height over here from floor to up is about 11 your standard ceiling height is 94 and they have this beautiful crown molding which is an upgrade that you would have to pay but look at the size of your kitchen island i kind of love the fact that you have this nice decorative pole right there or the or the legs if i may that it's really nice that you have that and the amount of space you have a switch right there which makes it uh, handy i would have loved like a cabinet there but they do have your cabinets right over here you have the the stainless steel sink and then over here you also have another electric outlet making it really easy the other thing that i want to point out is that you have your microwave your rain shirt your dishwasher included however with this one they have it venting out and this is the standard with the builder here you have to pay extra now this may or may not be a big thing depending upon how much cooking you do and are you okay with the smell of the aroma of the food in the house i prefer this because i don't mind losing the space because you do lose the cabinet space but the other thing i want to point out is look at this this is a soft close you do have to pay extra for it i love the backsplash now things like this is something you can always do later on so please keep that in mind because what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are buying something that fits your budget that fits your family need and then things like this you can always do later on you have this beautiful crown molding look at the amount of light you have in the kitchen you have the three pendle lights you have six lights in the kitchen and then you only have like one or two lights over there for your main great room now this is your pantry right over here nothing huge but definitely comfortable and it's nice that you have this nice flooring all around your standard is going to be in the base price that you're going to have the tiles usually 17 by 18 or 18 by 18 tiles in your wet areas which is your bathrooms and and your laundry room and then some part of the kitchen because in the kitchen it's just going to be till here and then everything else is going to be carpet so please keep those things in mind let me go out and show you something because i want you to look at the size of the lot and also the covered lanai so you can easily screen this area this is all the land that you get so you can have a nice size pool and still have the room to do gardening if you have a four-legged friend it's kind of really nice that you could you have that space which is something that you don't see like in in, in typical orlando tampa tampa bay because you have your 40 your 50 your 60 at the most in some cases maybe 65 uh, and in very very rare cases like a half an acre to an acre because you don't really find that because land is so scarce especially in those but if you go in the outskirts you probably get a little bit more bang for your buck more land now right over here is your master bedroom and look at that beautiful crown molding it's a double crown molding and just one light this is what i'm talking about but in a room as big as this i would have definitely loved an extra four lights to kind of brighten the whole thing but i love the fact that you have this beautiful flooring you have this nice big window you have another window right there and then you have a closet right here 
And look at the size of this closet. It's really nice. It's comfortable. It's big. It could be a doghouse for the husband when they don't behave, but it's kind of nice that this is a good size. I would probably do it yourself, or if you have a nice handyman or a good handyman, then you can go to Ikea or the container store and kind of utilize that space because I just don't understand. Those racks are fine there, but you, you probably will pack everything on top of another like I do in my household. And when I need something, I can never find it because it's probably buried under. I'm like, I don't know. Is that your experience too with this kind of closet? But if you can like i did it in my previous house i i had it custom built and it was a lot more convenient but that didn't really help me because i still had a little space for my clothes and the wife took over now over here is your master bathroom and look at the space i love the fact that you have this little area like this could be like for the ladies the dresser and then you also have this thing for jewelry and I love that you have the two undermount sink, you know, it's kind of far away, so it's nice. She might not just take over, but then again, it depends upon the wife, right? And then you have the water closet, which is very comfortable. It's actually bigger and wider than what I have seen for the most part with this nice, uh, big, um, you know, the eight foot door. And then you also have your tub because most of the time you only have either you have a walk-in shower that I've seen, but with this builder, they actually give you a tub and then they also give you a framed walk-in shower, which is a little bit of a step down with the tiles going all the way up. So it's kind of really nice. And then right across from it, you have the closet space or the linen closet space. It's really well laid out. Let me know what you think of it because you know, the square foot, as I always say, I did the one for 2,800 and, and it's just how it flows, how well it does what it does. And if it works for you and your family or not, I hope you do get a lot of value from my videos. And if you do, please press that thumbs up button. Now, please remember when you give us a call, you'll be talking to somebody on my team. Their sole job is to collect the information and connect you to the right person on my team, whether that be me or someone else from my team. And choosing the right agent is super, super important. So please make sure to check our credentials out. You know, if you need references, read our Google reviews, read our Zillow reviews, check us out on Facebook. We are here to help and serve you. And now that we are on Instagram and TikTok and all that, please make sure to check it out. And if Spanish is your main language, we also have Orlando Home Show in Espanol, where we do these models in Spanish and then Orlando Living. Now, this is one of your biggest investments, so make that decision, and please, guys, whatever you do, just don't sit and try to time the market. Like, I have prospective clients timing the market from two, two and a half years, and I have clients that took action, and they have $150,000, $200,000 in equity in their house because they were able to take the right, like, the question you need to ask yourself over and over again is, can you afford today's prices and today's payment and if the answer to that is yes then do that because if you're going to sit around everybody that's sitting around when the rates go down everybody is going to jump and we'll find ourselves in the same predicament however this time it is not going to be the two and three percent it's going to be a long time before we ever see two and three percent i hope this makes a lot of sense thank you for watching press the thumbs up button until the next model bye for now